That looks good. That was good. All right, your turn. Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday. Got a haircut today. Um, been a little bit since I got a haircut. Um, and it's nice to, I mean, it's nice to have a haircut, but also nice just to be over here. That's looking, oh, that was almost there. Missed just one. Um, we're gonna have some uh, dinner here in a little bit and uh, just kind of relax in a little bit. We're, it's Sunday, we're, me and Mal are still planning on watching a movie, Her Choice, later this evening. Um, I'm not sure exactly what she wants to watch, but she'll figure that out. Oh, that was a slow moving ball. Was this a mistake? It was not a mistake. What's the final score here? Oh my Lord, have mercy. <laughs> he beat you by four pins. This is because the cat was on my Is that why? Yeah. <laughs> it's because the kitty was on That was a close one. Yeah, that was a really good one. So that's the problem for me. Like, it's not, I think okay. I Oh, doggone it. You beat me. <laughs> you beat me by two. <laughs> It was good. That was good. Hi, bud. Be grumpy. Is he grumpy? I picked him up and put him on my lap, and he went. Rah! Oh, grumpy. Oh, grumpy. Said, I'm done with this. Bye. Uh -oh. Are you trying to reach for my sandwich? I need I a sandwich and a half. You need a sandwich and a half. Uh, do you? Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, you're probably Is fine. That my phone? Yeah, it's behind me. Do oh. you need it? Oh, I just wondered. I didn't know where it was. See, the great thing about receiving this kind gift from Sacra Celica is not only the gift, but a box for Mallory. It's for Kippy. I was going to see what he would do, and he walked over like, this is mine. Yeah, I don't think he cares. No, he doesn't. Branchez votre manette de jeu sur la console à l'aide d'un câble USB, puis appuyez sur la touche PS. That was French. Do you know it? What's, what'd they say? your controller to the console with the USB cable and press the PS button. I think they said connect your controller to the console and press the... Select your language. English, United States. Yeah, that's the one. Press the... Continue with the screen reader turned on. Nope, nope. No, I'm gonna, turn I'm gonna, off. I'm going to turn that off. Button. There we go. So we're hooking up the PS5 uh, tonight. Uh, I mean, for one, to hook it up because we want to try it out. But also because a while back we were sent... Uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I on really wanted to watch it. Mal really wanted to watch it. It's the it's the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and it's it's on Blu-ray, but it's 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. So you need a like a special Blu-ray player in order to see it, and the PS5 will play them. So this is this is exciting because we get to watch this, but we get to watch this in 4K. So that is what Mal chose as our movie tonight. So we're gonna watch, what's the first one? Fellowship? Fellowship. Fellowship of the Ring. That's our movie tonight. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? It's a long one. Are we watching the extended one or no? Uh, 30 minutes longer. Yeah, sure, what the heck. Sometime later, and I mean sometime later. Yeah. Some time has passed. Yeah. Like a fair bit. A fair bit of a time. A large amount of time. It is very late. It is extremely late. But we have watched The Fellowship of the Ring. Extended edition. Extended edition. edition. It is, I'm fairly certain, 50 minutes longer I think I think the normal version is 178 and then the extended version was 228. The math on that checks out, right? That's 50 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, um, for full disclosure, I have seen this movie before. It was right after it came out on DVD. 
And that was, I think, one million years ago. Yeah. And um, I didn't know anything about it. I watched it with a group of people, um, a few people that were, like, really excited about it coming out on DVD. I do not recall if we watched theatrical or extended. I'm fairly certain it was the theatrical version. And I didn't remember a whole lot about the movie going into watching it again tonight. Um, I remembered vaguely the characters and I remembered the scene where the four of them are hiding under the tree trunk. Yeah. And that was it. Like, I, like I, I, that's all that I really remembered, you know, aside from the few, like, memes yeah. that have come out over the years. Keep your secrets. Keep your secrets. Um, there, was a few, there was a few things that, like, really felt genuinely surprising to me because whenever in my brain I was, like, recounting the characters who are part of this, I was like, well, I know Frodo. Mm-hmm. And I know Sam, I couldn't remember Sam's name, but I knew Sam, I knew Legolas, and then I knew Gimli. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, there's like another one. And I was like, there, I guess that's like five. There's like, and Gandalf, Gandalf's yeah, there. Yeah. So Gandalf and then another there's, one. So, so there's, there's six. There's nine. So there's, I was like, there's like six characters. And early on in the film, Tizzle and Wizzle, <laughs> I don't know their names. I still don't know their names. Mary and Pippin. Tizzle and Wizzle, they show up and I'm like, that's weird. Why are Tizzle and Wizzle here? And he like call them Tizzle and Wizzle the entire and I, movie. I kept waiting for them to die. I like I was like, well, they're not supposed to be in this. What? I don't remember these characters at all. And like they're like comic relief characters and they're really annoying. And I'm like, okay, certainly like something's gonna happen. And they're going to get, like, eaten by a bear in the next scene. And it kept not happening. And I was like, oh, well, maybe, like, they get to this end and then they're just going to leave them behind. And then it didn't it didn't happen. And I'm like, why are they still here? And then the other character that I was waiting on, turns out that was two characters. And they're the same character. But one of them is a little angsty. <laughs> And that's it. Bjorn is a little angsty. Bjorn, 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 Aragon, Aragon, and Bjorn. There's an R. Aragorn. Aragorn? Uh huh. Are you sure? Boromir. Bjorn. Anyway, so I thought that there was one character. Turns out there are two characters. And I'm gonna, t I'm gonna tell you right now. I ain't never paused a movie so much in my entire life. The only way that I could get through this film and understand it... There's a lot of lore. Because there's so much lore. So and much and lore. let me be clear. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Like, a lot. I really, really enjoyed watching it. Way more than I'm sure I, I enjoyed it the first time I saw it because I had someone who knows it. <laughs> Mal knows... Mal knew stuff about this. So I was like, how do you know that? She's like, I just read the books. I paused this movie... In, like, movie. eighth grade. <laughs> I paused this movie so much because they would start talking about something and I would just pause it and be like, okay. Paraphrase that. Explain that to me. And then I'll be like, okay, so this thing, this thing, I'd be like, okay. Cause like, as I'm going through, I want to understand and I can tell that there were parts of this where like, it's almost, it, it kind of glosses over things a little bit with like the understanding of like, well, you've read the book. And I'm like, I, I have not, I have not, and I'm not gonna do it. So like, I need you to <laughs> explain this better to me. And Mal was here to do that. And I really appreciate it. You're it welcome. made my experience of the movie even better. Um, and my experience was already like really good. The story is so good. The characters are so likable um, and fulfill their roles well. There, I mean, some of it is like a little, I don't know if it's long-winded is what I'm looking for, but there's like parts of it where they, they've they showed up in a place and then it's like they show up into a place and then something happens uh, like with, with characters, like, oh, we have to meet these characters and now we know these characters. Oh, but now we're moving on to the next thing. And 
There's a lot of that, but also it does make it feel like an adventure that's ongoing. This one especially is very adventure-y. It's like, it's we gotta vi- travel all this way. Yeah, um, and I'm bouncing around a lot here, but there's just so much to talk about because it's like a four hour movie. Um, one thing that I don't generally like, and Mao can attest to this, is I don't like extended versions of movies. In my opinion, in a very general sense, the theatrical release of a movie is generally better by a lot because it's a tighter edit and it doesn't linger. And I've seen other extended versions of movies before and they're they're usually bad. Like I wouldn't advise you to watch extended versions of movies. I knew that if I didn't watch the extended version of this, that I would have people that were mad that I didn't watch the extended version of this. So I chose to watch the extended version of this. I'm pretty pleased overall with that decision. Um, Just because like, there's apparently 50 extra minutes in here and I could tell there was extra time, but not 50 minutes worth of time. I could tell that there was like 20 to 30 minutes of extra time. And there's, The best way I can describe it is that the reason that extended versions of movies are bad is that it kills the pacing. And in Lord of the Rings, it does that a little bit. There's a few times where I'm like, where you can just tell you're like, this is filler. It's like watching Dragon Ball Z, you know, where- (laughs) Skip this episode. Basically, Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, okay, this does not need to be in the film. But there was also some parts in there where I wasn't sure. And I was like, I feel like this is extra stuff, but it was actually interesting. So in that respect, I don't regret choosing to watch the extended version. There's definitely some parts in there where I was like, this is not necessary. And see, I haven't seen the extended version until today. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I was able to pick those parts out. Okay. It was, you know, I don't regret it. If, if someone's going to watch Lord of the Rings for the first time and you have access to the extended version, I know it makes the film longer, but you're already investing like a crap load of time. A lot of time. So just do it. Like, just just do it. It, it. There's enough extra like little lore and stuff that I thought it was worth it. There's also just some extra nonsense. There's some extra, like there's lingering on shots, which again... It eats at the pacing of the film a little bit, but overall, it's not completely detrimental. I've watched other movies. I, we watched the extended versions of Bridesmaids. Oh yeah, which we was did. a mistake. That was a mistake. It was a complete mistake. Like it was a lot longer, and I was like, "Why?" Anyway, that's another another story. Overall, this was uh, this was really good. We did watch the the Ultra HD Blu-ray, and I believe that's courtesy of Lunar Pearl. So, Lunar Pearl, thank you. Um, it was. It's nice to watch it in 4K resolution. This uh, version supports HDR, but we don't have an HDR television, so we can't enjoy that aspect of it. Um, I was actually a little worried when I first put it in because when the disc, when it comes up and it does the Warner Brothers logo, yeah. the Warner Brothers logo was really blown out. It was super saturated too. And I was like, oh crap, this is, this is not gonna work on our standard definition. Uh, not standard definition, standard dynamic range television, but the movie was fine. So yeah. I guess that, that and the coloring of intro, it looked like I remember. Yeah, it looked it looked normal. I was a little concerned when we first put it in, but it it if it you fine. if you don't have an HDR set, this should work fine for you. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any other things I want to talk about because I know that there's a lot of Lord of the Rings fans out there, and I'm sure they're really itching for me to like talk about this movie. But I liked it. Um, I liked it. And I, it, this is one of those things where I definitely get what all the fuss is about. Also, I've seen the Hobbit films. Did we finish the Hobbit? Mm-hmm. We watched all okay. three Hobbit films. I really only remember the first one. <laughs> we, we watched all three of them. Um, I think we watched all of them in theaters, actually. And um, it's been a long time, and I don't remember it super, super well. But it gives, like, a little bit... Like there were, it was funny because at the very beginning of this film, Bilbo talks about some of the stuff. He's telling a story to kids. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some, well, there's some other stuff in there too where he's oh, yeah. talking about things, and I actually recognized what he was talking about, which surprised me because my memory is bad, and I was like, I wasn't going to remember anything about The Hobbit. But a little tiny bit of it came back to me because of what they were talking about. I was like, oh, wait, I vaguely remember that. So that was that was neat. Um, from what I can tell, though, this movie seems, or this series of movies seems a lot better because The Hobbit felt like a tiny story that was being stretched out, which it is. It right? is. And Lord of the Rings is better better paced. You know, there's there, it feels like it's supposed to take as long as it's taking. Mostly. Mostly. There's a little extra stuff, but mostly. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's basically it. We are definitely going to continue watching this next week. Yeah. So for next Sunday, we'll watch Two Towers. Um, I have also seen Two Towers. But again, I don't remember anything about Two Towers. The only thing I remember about Two Towers is that there were trees. There's like talking trees. No other memory. And I do not know how it ties into the first film. Because again, watched it a million years ago with friends on My DVD. memory of that one is... It just, just you don't have any memory. I, I don't really. Okay, and I've never seen Return of the King. So. Like I know the whole general plot of all of it because yeah. I've read it so many times and I've seen all the movies, but like it's just kind of I don't know. It's the most forgettable one to me. So okay, well we will watch it next week, extended edition. And we will probably start earlier because um, we really don't have all that much longer and we'll be worrying about the sun coming up. Yeah. We get, we started watching the longest movie I've ever seen a little later than we should have, but it's fine. We've had a long day. Um, anyway, that that's it for today. Thank you so much for, for watching. Uh, no spoilers about the other films because we are going to be watching them. Um, but uh, yeah, so far, so far, so good. And we'll be back with more, with more Lord of the Rings talk. In a week. In a week. Yeah. Also, it is it, the movie is so much better having like someone explain stuff to you. It really was. There was parts that I would have not understood without, it, like getting getting that little bit of extra explanation is so helpful because then I can frame what's happening as opposed to just being lost. Yeah. And that makes a big difference. And like one could argue that the movie could do a better job of explaining it, but I don't I don't I think that it it the way that it is is actually fine. Um in this particular instance, I feel like this is a better way of doing it and I would just rather have someone explain things to me. The only the only complaint that I have um related to trying to understand things is that Gandalf unless he's shouting mumbles and like the the film is actually really well mixed there's a lot of movies we watch and I'm like who mixed this an idiot this this film's really well mixed the problem is when Gandalf is talking like him and Frodo Frodo's like Gandalf what do you think about this and Gandalf's like and Frodo's like I agree character and like it's, it works, but you I can't have, understand him. I was trying not to watch this movie with subtitles, mm-hmm. and I felt like I needed to turn the subtitles on every time Gandalf was talking. And that was the only thing that was frustrating to me. But otherwise, every every other character was fine. It was just it was just that. And there was there was a few times where Gandalf talked, and then I paused and I'd be like, Mal, what did he say? <laughs> when he goes on about Gollum. Yeah, because when they're in the mines, the the guy was mumbling. Yeah, he's just mumbling a lot. Anyway, that was it. That was it. All right, I'm done. It's bedtime. It's definitely bedtime. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Kepler's been asleep for hours. Of course he has. He's a cute little guy.